are playing Porto tonight. Um, last season at Villa Park, um, it won actually. They were winners. Mm. And McTominay got the the late winner. Um, the question I have for you, it's a silly question to ask, but if he doesn't win those two games, mm -hmm. is it just see you later, it's, Ten Hag? So it's over, mate. Yeah, I mean it's over. Or should he should, already be gone? It should have been over from the FA Cup. That should have been like the LVG situation when we won the FA Cup, and it was like, all right, thanks for the memories. Let's move on. Do you know what I mean? But Ineos have kind of, I don't know, peer pressure, uh, fan pressure. I don't know what it is. They kind of gave into it, even though they did talk to a few managers. I don't know. They gave into the pressure, I think, of people saying, oh, yeah, this is what we want. Petitions were being signed, all of that. But look, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Season nearly done. You know what I mean? Before we've even got started. Again, do you know what I mean? So I think if he doesn't win the next... Well, first and foremost, why does it come down to the, these two? Yeah, yeah, true. So what? After is these two... To all right, say so that. say we win these two and then we lose the next two. Is it then two games again? Are we going in twos until May? <laughs> what are we doing? Abby, two what are we God. doing? Two, 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 two. I, two, I two. think it's mad. <laughs> Sound like Lethal Bizzle. It don't make no sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two, what are we two. doing? No. Yeah, but so, if, if you lose these next two yeah. on the back of getting... that, I mean, that should have been six at the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you lose these two, then surely like... There, there is no thing where we can take this as twos. Like it's like he's got two. Yeah, yeah well. he's got these two games to like mm -hmm. cement the fact that he's going. But hold on, I would the, find time, it, the time I'd find makes it complete hard, sense. Why would you give a new manager or an interim Porto away and Villa away, and then mm. you've got an international break? I think they're just biding their time. They didn't mm. want him. They spent all summer. Eric, you wait there. We're just going to talk to them, oh, yeah. and then you, none of you want. Come on, Eric. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that, they were just, they didn't want him. That mm. was obvious. Sloppy but seconds, yeah, they, they thought, okay, the right guy's not there. Sloppy I kind of get that. Yeah. Why has, go but, through all that change? What's the, the difference right between guys? July and now in terms of where's the right guy suddenly come from? I That's think true. in your And we've signed, have, more, we've signed more players that, yeah. fit, that fit Ten Hag. If the, Rude Van Istray is going to probably be an interim, I'd say. I, I, like them yeah. even bringing him in, I think was part of a potential right, succession wall. plan. You know what I mean? So... I think they'll keep him. I don't think they'll do the Oli situation where they'll jump too quickly and give him a, a contract, even if Anistre does what. I mean, he has to like completely flip the club tactically and do something yeah. special yeah. for him to get a job. But I think getting in Vanistre was part of the plan, honestly. Two managers. Remember, both of our assistants were managers mm. of previous clubs. So I think... <laughs> I think Van Nistelrooy will come in charge for He's, interim. And I feel like Rude, Rude Van Nistelrooy came in as a manager previously mm -hmm. who really should then want to carry on being a manager yeah. knowing that Ten Hag is yeah. probably going to fail numbered. and he's going to take that job. Otherwise, so it was a smart move for role. him as well. Of course. And yeah. continue he has been to a flourish. Touch, he has been a touch role. undermined, hasn't he, Eric? I'm, I'm not, oh, I don't, yeah. And I'm not defending him. I, I think he was appalling last season as a manager. But, yeah, you're bringing in managers to be your assistant. Mm. You know, you, you're having the, the transfer stuff taken from you. He's spoken about that. And then you've been looking well, at other managers. Really, like, yeah, yeah. The message is it's, there, it's isn't it? It's not a long-term like, plan, is it? I know they gave him the extension, but it's not a long-term plan. I actually but, get Ineos, though. I get it. Like, yeah, if the I get right that. guy's not there, let's then just then not rush is, into is it. Is Rude is is the, the, problem. the, the problem. right fit? Is that who you would want to take over as interim? As interim, for me... I already see this season as a write-off, personally. We are not six, getting the top four. Six games in? No, wow. no, 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 listen, trust me. We're not getting what? the top four. We ain't got, we ain't got the quality. We ain't, our team's just its too inconsistent. It's not going to happen. I don't see it. Top four, we got, no, We I got top four it. with Conte. He came yeah, in Yeah, because that's after... Conte. <laughs> that's Conte of serial winner. He came winner. in after Halloween, November time he come in. And that's we a still serial got top winner. Four. That's a serial winner, time. though. And I think the quality of the teams that are above us at the moment are better than the stage that when Conte came in. It was you guys knocked us out of the top four, I think it was not Arsenal. It was Arsenal. Yeah, but Arsenal, yeah. they weren't ready them days, you know what I mean? We're but, quite ready, youngest team in the league. Yeah. But, you know, now yeah, when I look at you look at Aston Villa, you're Lovely. looking at Spurs, you're looking at Chelsea, you're looking at Liverpool, obviously the top mm. three. I just can't see Man United making top four. So I'd rather just get an interim in and just bide the season, see bide what we it. can do. Do you know what I mean? Let's try and win the Europa or something. Let's talk about know. the actual game itself because Villa Park can be and has been for many decades a tough place to go to, especially in this time when when that first whistle goes, yeah. their fans are going to be on top of United, suffocating them into making mistakes. The higher press, they've got players that can come on even if the first 11 aren't doing the business. Are you scared for this game? Because it could be a madness. Be. I'll be I'll be honest. It could <laughs> be a madness. This one could be, the, you, know, you know them last yeah. games for a manager and it's like... You look back at them results. And you, what was Emery's last game? I don't even know. 
I don't even know, but I remember wasn't Ollie's a four one at Watford? At Watford, you know, yeah. You, you just knew that day. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, was was it, Jose beats Leicester. One. Remember Jose yes. beats Leicester? The players betrayed me. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. just, yeah. you know, there's just some games that you just feel it, and you're just like, and I think that might be the case. I actually think it's going to be a very bad result. Like, I think like three nil ish. Really? Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Jeez. I just don't that trust ish. us to go there in this form that Aston Villa are potentially in. I know when we're backs against the wall, sometimes we pull out our result, mm. but Villa Park is jumping. Aston Villa are, are genuinely a good team. They're not, it's not just like, oh, you're going to a tough away ground. They're no. genuinely a very good team now. So I can't, Can it's I just as hard that? as playing against the We lost the home to Frankfurt. Now. Yeah, that, lost, was, uh, that was come a tough oh, Frankfurt, yeah. there we go. If you win tonight though, can yeah. that do anything in terms of building the confidence, the momentum up for Sunday? <sighs> I'm just trying to play devil's advocate are, yeah. there. I mean, potentially. If you win convincingly tonight, surely you'd be confident yeah. or more confident. But from what's coming out of the club now, you know, you know the leaks before every second starts coming yeah. out. What's coming from the club now is like, yeah, the players yeah. didn't even think he was going to be the manager, and mm. so like, are they playing for him at this stage? I don't know. So if we win against Porto, does that necessarily mean that they're going to be buoyed and up for it mm. against Aston Villa? I don't know. And Porto. And Villa is a completely different proposition anyway. Do you know what I mean? Not saying Porto ain't as good as Villa, but the Premier League, the pace of the game, it's a lot different to the to European football. So we could we could win today and then get smoked against Villa. You don't really know, man, but I'm not confident. I'll be honest, from watching obviously that game on Sunday, yeah. not one player on that pitch, bear in mind that these are his players for the most part, that he's brought in and sanctioned, not one of them in terms of their body language looked like they were running for him, mm -hmm. cared. And I think that I thought that from minute one. Yeah, I think they one. think Phil let down. I think tactically, and I'm not here to defend the players because I don't think they're that great anyway. I think we've got a lot of average players, but at the same time, I do think tactically they just think this guy's just hopeless on the pitch because the, the the way we play is actually making everyone look worse. As much as I don't rate these guys, we don't we're not these guys are not that bad as to how they look. Like we're looking borderline not a competitive team. Yeah. Against yeah, you yeah. guys, we were not competitive. No. Like yeah, we're not like we're the whole game like, like it's, it's couldn't crazy. string three, four, yeah. five. Oh, Star about a ten minute period where Spurs just thought they'd be Spurs yeah. for a minute. Yeah. But Too apart little. from that, yeah. But I, I honestly like at, at least at the very least, whether you're whether you're Brentford, whether you're Fulham, whoever you are, you're going to be competitive. Man United genuinely at the moment are one of the easiest teams to play against, mm. and that's that that nice. is tactical. Yeah. That mm. can't what, be happening. What sure. do you think of the Bruno Red being rescinded? I mean, I kind of I was gonna enjoy them three games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> you wish he was out. You know, I'm out nah, nah. as well. So yeah. Who would you have even I mean, to be fair, are, when I saw it initially, I was like, "What is he doing?" And then I saw it again, and I was like, "To be fair, I don't actually think it's a red, but it's silly from him. Like, if mm. you slip, just you can't stick your legs out. You know what I mean? So, in a way, we kind of got. I mean. If it's been rescinded, in a way, we actually got hard done by. So you guys actually, in a way, got lucky. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? It didn't change anything. It changed absolutely. No, honestly, I'm that's just, red. It changed absolutely I didn't think nothing. it was a red. <laughs> I'm just saying. Was, I didn't think it was a red either. I didn't think it was a red, but I'm surprised really they rescinded it. No, like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not too surprised, you know. I'm not surprised. I remember it that's legit. quite a statement because he did. I don't, know why, I don't know why they didn't. His leg in the air I don't know why they just slipped. didn't do it at the slipped, time. They had yeah. there. They or reviewed it at the time. The he should have just said it's not red. It's a yellow, which yeah. it was. I'm just saying just it's quite a bold. I don't that. wholly I disagree with it. It's just quite a bold thing for that to be the. But one just to reiterate, it would have made anyway. absolutely no difference to that game. If anything, you, know you never know. It Second half, United. No, do you know what? We could have come out. We could have come out. If anything, United. United were better with ten because they knew that they had to sit back and they had to like soak it up a bit more, and then they actually, and then Tottenham started to get complacent. So I'm saying United would have won. If Bruno was on that pitch for the second half I'm telling you they probably they probably win by more Spurs and also I don't know <laughs> Cam, tell me if Eric Ten Hag did say something about the red in his press because you know normally they say yeah we're going to appeal that yeah, it's yeah. a disgrace we're definitely going to appeal that there was nothing said yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. I was aware of that they are going to appeal it so when it did happen I think it was a bit of a shock yeah, I think I don't think because like, like Abby was saying the performance was just so bad that it, it would have been it kind of shameless to, to even about, mention. Yeah, yeah like it yeah, was right. genuinely so bad that Bruno getting sent off was kind of just like... It's actually the least of your worries, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it kind of just felt like, oh, another thing. You so know, it didn't feel like, oh, this has changed the game in any way. Like, yeah, it just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was a very, very low point. Well, let's mm. get uh, score predictions. Porto, uh, seven played in their league, 6-1, one, one defeat, won their last game, 4-0. What's your uh, score prediction for tonight, my friend? Tonight, um, and then we'll do Villa as well. I think two nil Porto, Oof. followed up by a Villa win. Yeah, 
Three nil, yeah. three ish nil. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I do think Porto will win. I, I looked at their um, their last few games. They've got five clean sheets in their last seven yeah. in the league at all. In the last, I mean, last season. we can't we can't hit a barn door at the moment. So mm. AVB, the president of Porto, your old boy. They are. Um, mm. So the Villa score prediction as well. Let's Villa, get... I'm gonna go. I'll go three uh, one to Aston Villa. Oof. Yeah. Look at the position that Ten Hag's put me in. This is unbelievable. The minute Rude gets, you're gonna see a new me. That is my goal. Top red. You're gonna see a new. The minute Rude gets the job, ah, oh, listen, bring me back on the show, man. Yeah, like, bring me back. Don't know. I feel what like maybe one all tonight. Yeah. I'm thinking it might give you a tiny bit of confidence, and I think you're gonna get spanked at the weekend, like four. Oh, that's Four one coming. or something, and then that'll be it. We expected coming. that last year at Villa Park, and you went and won. But Tom Villa and do a, have like, a slight I tendency say, we sometimes. We. Villa have an ability to just give you a result, result that you're yeah, like, yeah. what, yeah, what, what was that? Just, yeah. I mean, you could. I mean, they did that against us. Ipswich, Ipswich, like, Ipswich love it. Won. But. But yeah, you could I just that think that that game yesterday against Bayern gives them such a like such a boost. Like you'll still yeah. they'll, they'll still be on a high from that come Sunday. Like you know, like when you've had your first European nights in such a long time, and like yeah. everyone is buzzing. Oh, Villa, yeah. Villa. I just think like that, like they'll be buzzing. The team will be buzzing for it. Obviously, they might be tired. Mm. That could, can, but that could play into it. We're playing they have an extra day rest. They have yeah, extra day rest. I don't know. I think I just think you're going for a hiding, and I think that'll be it. Hiding. You know what they say: when you're winning, you don't get tired when you're winning. Mm. Do you know true. what I mean? Yeah, so true. So do you have a what was it? Four? I, I think 4-1. Four, 4-1 one. Four, one. Four, one, Villa. Oh, four. Jesus. Bloody hell. I'll go 2-1 Porto tonight. 2-1. And I'll go 3-1 Villa at the weekend. I think you'll beat Porto 2-0. Just wow. one of those where United show up and <sighs> there's a bit of hope. Clean then, sheet. Then, Clean yeah, that's no, smart. you're right. 2-1. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> and then and then Emery with a 2 0 win, I think might two just. Nil. Mm. And then international break, you'll be gone, you'll find your manager, and life goes on. Mm. Fair enough. 2 1 Porto, 3 0 Villa. 3 0. Let us know in the chat. A lot of uh, <laughs> defeats for United in the chat, if I'm honest with you. What a life. Five, not scoring. What a life. <laughs> what wow. a life. <laughs> I remember when I used to make you guys' lives hell. You but came on here and said, Soon I'd rather over. be in yeah. opposition. I da 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 da. <laughs> Still got that, mate. You know what I mean? Still got the <laughs> FA Cup. Still got that. <laughs>